What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Dave here from Boosted Addictions. So I want to talk about E85 and uh, the benefits of E85 and um, you know uh, there's a lot of like people out there that, that don't think E85 is good. E85 is a great fuel. It is a great option for uh, high powered cars particular boosted cars um, E85 has uh, well it's 85% ethanol and it is 15% gasoline um, now whether that it varies pump E85 varies from minimum most pumps say minimum of 70% depending on where you live and what type of climate you'll have a winter blend and a summer blend they do that because E85 in colder climates is harder to ignite than in warmer climates. So that's why they cut it down. Um, pumps around me always say minimum of 70%, but in the summertime we can get up to at least 90% I've seen at pumps. Um, so yeah, I wanna talk about the benefits of E85 um, and just try to clear some things up for some people. Um, Depending on your car, its year, its upgrades, yes, E85 can be very corrosive, especially to older vehicles who are, or don't have upgraded fuel systems like stainless steel or, you know, they're all using older steel fuel lines. Yes, E85 can be a problem. That goes with injectors too. If you're running an older injector setup where they're not E85 capable, compatible or they just have corrosive parts inside the injectors because they're older and and E85 wasn't a uh, fuel for that error so yes it can be corrosive for the newer cars no it's not 95% um, of the cars produced today um, are E85 capable whether they say it on it or not uh, other countries like Brazil and European countries, they have E85, most of their cars are E85 and they sell E85 pretty, pretty, uh, it's pretty easily to get out there in other countries. So uh, I think the US is behind and, uh, and that goes for octane too. I see in other countries at the pump, they got 100, 105 octane. Like that's normal out there in other countries. For some reason, the U.S. is behind on the curve. So, okay, so the benefits of E85. Burns cooler. Um, it is a higher octane and it is cheaper. Um, the, the, the pros and the cons. So, the, the non-benefits is you have to burn or push 30% more of the fuel to produce the same amount of power as you would, would with a petroleum based fuel like gasoline. So with that being said, your fuel system has to be able to produce more flow volume and your injectors need to be able to spray more flow volume. So you need upgrades. Now that's questionable as far as if you need upgrades, I guess, because there is some non-naturally aspirated vehicles. Um, let's take, a, let's say for the Mustang in particular, like the uh, S9, S550, 5.0 Coyote. Um, naturally aspirated, you can run the car on E85 and not lean out. Now, you start to throw boost into the car, and, and that's with no injector upgrades. Um, you start to throw boost into the car, more air requires more fuel. So, in turn, you need to push more fuel per the boost, air to fuel, and then you start to run into problems and you start to run lean. So, like I said, I, I personally have been running E85 for the last two years in uh, my German cars. Uh, I have an Audi S4 that I run 
not I cut it down because my car it's direct injected only and I cut it down to about E50 because it doesn't handle the full blend uh, of E85 because the injectors are stock and there is no ejector upgrade so I cut it down to E50 if I don't I get injection spotter um, Cutting it down to E50 allows me to blow in a little less fuel because I have more petroleum in there, uh, gasoline, in the E85 than ethanol, and it, it, it cuts down on the percentage of I have to spray more of. So, E85, great fuel. Tuners love it. Uh, I love it. Um, it smells, I like the way it smells. Some people say it smells like dirty socks. I, I think it smells, you know, too much of it can be a little, I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, sometimes if I'm out in my car driving it and I'm, you know, sitting at a red light and, you know, I just keep getting all the fumes, it, too much of the fumes of the 85 does give me a little, give me a little woozy, but. So, pros and cons, advantages, disadvantages, more horsepower because you can run more timing, more boost, it burns cooler, it has higher octane rating, they say a minimum of 105, um, you obviously there's no real test out there to test octane, you can buy E85 uh, gasoline testers where you can test the percentage of ethanol right from the pump, um, but you can't test the uh, octane. But the, it burns cooler, so you know there's a lot of lot of lot of lot of perks to it. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, great fuel. I love it. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, drop them in the comments. Like and subscribe. Um, love to hear your feedback and uh, stay tuned.